Hello viewers, you are welcome to Inky Culture channel. Today I will be showing you how to make a ball dress for a three-year-old girl. So these are the measurements you need for the ball gown. So you need the shoulder measurement which is 9 inches. So I have displayed the, the dress on the screen. This is what I want to make. So the chest length and circumference 5 and a half inches and the circumference is 23 inches. The gown half length is 9 inches, the circumference is 23 inches also, the gown full length is 31 inches, the drop shoulder is 10 inches, while the off shoulder is 25 inches circumference. So, I will move on to the materials I need for this dress. I need these floral materials to design the dress, as you can see in the picture. So. I need these two nets. I have two type of two nets here, the soft one and the hard one. This soft one will be used for the yoke and the hard one will be used for the ball part of the dress and this is the hard one. So I'm going to use this taffeta, this material to lining the net because the net will be transparent of course. So this is the lining to cover all the rough work and this is the floral material that will be used for the upper bodies so the next one is the net i've talked about this add net that will be used for the ball dress so the ball part of the dress i'm going to boost it with this white net the white net is a hard net and it will be used to boost it instead of putting a basket underneath if I use this to also work the work of that basket so let's go ahead and fold our paper with the biggest circumference and the biggest circumference is the chest which is 23 inches circumference so I'm folding the front and the back together so I'll be folding the front and back together there's no need of that because there's no bust it's a baby dress so I'll go ahead and fold like so first folding then go ahead and the second folding the second folding will not reach the extreme end and the reason is because of the zipper allowance so this part will be used for the zipper allowance you can see and this line i'm touching is the center front and the one underneath will now serve as the center back this is the side seam so I'll go ahead and take my measurements. So the measurement will be starting from, I'll just add, because we have from the shoulder to the half length of the girl, we have nine inches. So I'm inputting 11 inches here. 11 inches, I'm starting here. Because of all the allowances, that's why I'm just, I will just input 11 inches. So that will be my starting point and the 9 inches is what I will input right now for the gown half length or the waist of the baby girl. So I will indicate that with a straight line like so. So I have folded with the biggest circumference and I have added allowance of like 2 inches to it. So the next thing to do is to label the zipper allowance part the cf means the center front so i'm inputting this zipper allowance the zipper allowance is like more than a half inches so and this is the center back so you are going to input from that center front you input your shoulder to shoulder measurement that's the center back so the shoulder to shoulder measurement that is not drop is four and a half. I'll first of all input that. Then I'll now input the drop shoulder which is five inches. The five inches means it does ten inches. Ten inches divided by two will give me five inches. So the shoulder to shoulder measurement of the baby girl is ten inches. So I will divide by two. I will have five inches like so. Then I'm going to input vertical measurement, the chest length. The chest length so it's five and a half inches 
vertical measurement for the chest length is five and a half inches so i will put that then i'm going to indicate that also with a straight line on that five and a half inches i'll put i'll draw a straight line on that point then i can go ahead and label out this is the shoulder line this is the chest line chl and this the next one is the gown half length the gown half length line or the waist line so after the labeling i want to input the armhole armo, armo length so i will come up from the chest line by two inches like the case of an adult also then i will draw a straight line from the shoulder to that point that point then i will now represent that line also with a straight horizontal line and that line will now serve as my upper chest line for the baby upper chest line which is also our ammo line so i'll cancel this side because i don't need it i'm three minutes off it's ss so back to business so i will label this as upper chest upper chest line so here is the ammo line so the ammo is from there to there that place so we can input the ammo curve right now diagonally i marked half inches so i can use my free hand and also i can still use my french curve to form the ammo curve for the baby so i'm going to trace it out with my french curve like so so i will input all the circumference the circumference measurement on the chest line is 23 inches divided by 4 which will give me 5 3 over 4 and also here also 5 3 over 4 because there's no bust so on the on the upper chest line i will input 5 3 over 4 with half inch ease allowance on the ammo half inch ease allowance on the ammo so i'm going to connect the lines together remember we have not added our 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 seam allowance we have not added the seam allowance so i'm going to add seam allowance of one inch because i'm not holding any that so one inch will be enough for me and i want to do an inseam finishing so i just need small allowance so i'll connect that with my straight ruler like so so on this part also on the gown half length you know i'm going to attach it to the ball part so i need half inch allowance to attach so i've input that on the neckline i'm going to input the neck width of two one over four inches by the neck depth of two and a half inches so that's how deep i want the neck depth to be so two and a half inches so i'll go ahead and square the neck depth and width up with my straight ruler so it will form like a right angle before i will now input my neck curve the neckline design that i want is a round neck for the front pattern so i'll be using the front neck first because the the, the back neck will be deeper than this but I'll first of all do the front neck. The one that is not deep, I'll use it for both neck. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Diagonally, I input half inch before I input the curve. So, the curve can be like so. So, from there, I'll come to the shoulder, to the arm move. Then, I'll input half inch slope for the shoulder slope. Half inch, I'll input it from the the shoulder line to that place i'll input half inch then i'll connect it to the neck line the way you see it so from there remaining allowance on the shoulder i'll add half inch allowance on the shoulder 
I'll add half inch allowance like so. Then I'll use my straight line to connect the points together. Don't forget to subscribe and like and also share my videos. Thank you. So I'll go ahead and label that as my allowance. Then I'll come to the arm hole, I'll add allowance also. And also on the neckline, I'll add half inch allowance also. And that is what I'm going to do right away. So, I'll connect that with my French cuff. So, I'll come to the arm hole and input half inch also. Input half inch on the arm hole, like so. Then connect it with your French cuff. So, right now, all the allowances has been added. So, I can go ahead and cut it out. So, right here, we are using the front neckline to cut out the back and front neck, neck, neckline. So, I will notch, notch the center front and back and trace with the blunt edge of my scissors. I'm going to trace it out so that I'll be able to replace all the lines on the back bodies. So, I'll, I've replaced the lines on the back bodies like so. So, right now I can go ahead and label the back and front. And the next thing to do is to cut the neckline for the back. But before I do that, I'm going on a short break now. I'll be right back in a minute. <music> Do you desire to be a professional fashion designer in just a few weeks? Then what are you waiting for? Enroll at Yinki Couture Academy today. Our online, offline and physical trainings are open in the following classes. Advanced class for 4 weeks, intermediary class 8 weeks and beginner class for 20 weeks. For inquiries, please call 0805-794-4477 or 0903-218-4192. You can equally connect to us on our various social media platforms at Yinki Couture. Yinki Couture, home of dressmaking techniques. You are welcome back. So the neckline will be cut for the back right now. So I can go as deep as the chest line. So I'll go as deep as the chest line. So that's what I'm doing right away. I'll connect it with a straight ruler to form a V neck at the back so I've cut it out and this is the back neck right away I have my back bodies and my front bodies so the next thing to do is to remove the yoke for the front and the back so I will come to the arm hole and measure from the shoulder line I will measure two and a half inches. I will mark it on the front bodies and the back bodies. I will mark it out so so that it will align. But on the center, it may not align. So I will go as deep. The yoke for the for the back bodies can be as deep as five and a half inches. Then I've marked it out. I will use my French cuff to create the, the, the yoke to, to cut out the yoke so I will use this French curve design you can use a straight ruler to do the design or you, and you can still use a French curve so I prefer this type of neck the, this type of design so the yoke is from that point to that point then I will come and create the yoke for the front also. So I will go from the neck depth. I will go as deep as 2 inches. Then I will connect it to the 2 and a half ammo that I marked the other time. 
so i'll connect this one with my straight ruler so the yoke has been indicated with a straight line so the next thing to do is to cut out the yoke part so i will label it so that there won't be a mix of the back yoke and the front yoke i will label the part arm o on all the the yoke and the bodies so right now we have the yoke for the front and the back so we'll go ahead and cut out our net our two net with the yoke so that is what i want to do right away i'll place it then i'll cut it the scent the front will be cut on food while the back i'll cut two pieces each so i'm going to cut two pieces each because i will use another one to turn it so i'm going to cut two pieces each for the front and back yoke And while cutting it out, remember to add half inch on this line in order to be able to join it to the floral part. Half inch must be added. So, then I'll go ahead and cut like so. It's only this part I added half inch. So, on the floral part also, half inch is added here also to join to the two net. Then I can go ahead and cut it out also. So right now only this floral part will be used to cut out our lining. The lining will not come up to the yoke. So I will go ahead and use this floral part to cut out my lining also. So so the next thing to do is to cut out the ball part. So we need the full gown length. The full gown length measurement will be subtracted from the gown half length or the shoulder to the waist measurement, which is 9 inches. So I'm going to subtract that 9 inches from 31, so I have 22 inches. So that means the ball part will be 22 inches in length. So I'm going to just add half inch to attach it to the waist or to the gown half length. So right away I'm going to place the measurement 22 and a half inches. I'll place the measurement right away then I will cut it out. 22 and a half inches. I only need allowance on the waist part to join the net to the waist so the next thing to do is to cut the taffeta the taffeta will also be one inch will be deducted from the net so that means i will be cutting out 21 and a half inches here then i'll go ahead and cut the net the net will be short of five inches five inches that means i will deduct five inches from 21 and a half so this is the belt the belt is four inches by 32 inches 32 inches length and four inches width and this is the off shoulder part the off shoulder is three inches by six inches three inches width by six inches so right now i've joined the bodies i've joined the bodies with the net so i have the bodies joined with the net I use the two nets to line in each other. I cut two, two pieces for the two nets to line in each other and I have joined it. So I want to secure the inside. So I'm going to place the lining. You know, I said I cut the lining with the floral part alone. So I'm going to stitch like so to cover up the rough edges of the lining. So I will do that for the front and the back on my machine right away. So that is what I'm doing right away. trying to stitch that part to cover up the rough work so after that I have the rough part covered up this is the inner you can see it is neat I'll do that for the back also 
so you can see I can input my belt right now before I will now go ahead and secure the waistline the waistline I'm going to stitch that secure it outside like so because I will attach it to the ball pad to the two net so I'll come to the shoulder and secure the shoulder with a bias tape or cut out from the net and use it to secure it to secure the shoulder so I've gathered my two net to the circumference of the waist of the baby the waist is 23 inches so I'm placing the the, the gathered net on the half length of the gown so I'm attaching it to the waist right away so the next net the net will be the first thing to attach so after attaching the net I'll go ahead and attach the taffeta that one that will be used to lining the net so that the net will not be transparent so I'm going to put the taffeta right away so after the taffeta I will I will put the add net the add net will be the third 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 layer so I'll put the add net I'll pleat it on it then here comes the lining so I'm going to input the lining to cover up the rough work so I'll go ahead and do that since the net this is the, the, the net this the third layer which is the net has been put I'll put the lining and the lining will come in such a way that it will cover all the roughness so starting from here I will input the line and this is the final outlook this is the inner this is the inner of the dress this is the inner of the dress and you can see the final outlook the inner is very neat so if you like my video don't hesitate to subscribe like and share and this is the final outlook of the dress on the baby you can see it's beautiful it's very nice subscribe like and share my videos see you in my next video bye